Settled as an independent nation in 2006, the cramped but vigorous lusty country of Montenegro is fast becoming one of Europe's top tourism hotspots. It is arranged with beautiful places to visit and a lot of things to do. A perfect picture book of attractive historic towns, fascinating beaches backed by the warm, clear waters of the Adriatic Sea, rocky peaks, and a mild Mediterranean climate, this small country in what was once Yugoslavia packs a big punch. Best of all, Montenegro, which uses the euro, is easily affordable, with a beach vacation here costing you a little of what you'd pay in France, Italy, or neighboring Croatia. From the magnificent and elegant old town in Coder, backed by a spectacular deep blue fjord-like bay, to the mountainous interior, filled with beautiful national parks and towering peaks and underground caverns like Lipa Cave, Montenegro is full of attractions. For more ideas on the best places to visit, Watch our video of top things to do in Montenegro. Before we get started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so that you can get new upcoming videos. Number 1. Coder Old Town and Bay of Coder. Dominated by the 12th century Cathedral of St. Trifon, Coder's Old Town is one of the Adriatic coast's best preserved fortified medieval towns. Distinctly Venetian in its style, Coder sits at the edge of the brilliant blue Bay of Coder surrounded by dramatic, soaring mountains. The Cathedral of St. Trifon is known for its carved stone altar, an excellent example of the kind of stone masonry the city was famous for during the Middle Ages. Spend some time wandering the maze of streets and alleyways throughout Coder's old town, pausing for a meal at a traditional restaurant or a cold beverage at a sidewalk cafe in one of the piazzas. If you want more exercise, challenge yourself with a trek up to the upper town walls. From here, you'll have stunning views across the city and bay. The very best views are 1345 steps above the city at San Giovanni Fortress, constructed during the 9th century. From here, you will look down on the walls, the Bay of Coder, Old Town, and across to Mount Vermac. Number 2. Lipa Cave One of the largest caves in Montenegro, Lipa Cave, just a few kilometers from the village of Setinj, is in the mountains north and just east of Budva. The cave was first discovered accidentally by a dog who fell through a hole into it, but managed to escape safely through another opening. Today, the Karst Cavern is also one of Montenegro's most popular tourist attractions for adventurous kids and adults alike. A visit begins with a ride on a miniature train through the wild countryside, full of pomegranate and wild fig trees, to the cave's entrance. From here, you'll join a guided tour through some of the 3.5 kilometers of passages and great halls carved by thousands of years of dripping water and its underground river. Number 3. Ostrog Monastery. Built during the 17th century as a refuge against Ottoman Empire invaders, Ostrog Monastery is now a major Christian pilgrimage destination. Set atop a large grand outcropping, the entire monastery was carved from a cave on a nearly vertical cliff. It is quite an impressive sight, with two inner cave churches that can be visited. They are bedecked with frescoes painted right onto the rock walls. The monastery also houses the remains of its founder, Sveti Vasilj, who became a saint after his death in 1671. Number 4. Blue Grotto. Montenegro's still relatively undiscovered Lustica Peninsula is home to charming villages, beautiful beaches, and the Blue Grotto. The grotto is named for its fluorescent blue water which gets its dramatic hues from the light reflecting off the sandy bottom in the round-shaped cave with a vaulted ceiling. You can only access the Blue Grotto by boat. Tours depart regularly from the Herceg Novia Marina between April and October and either go only to the Blue Grotto or combine nearby attractions. The cave is also a great spot for snorkeling or diving. Number 5. Mount Lofsen. Montenegro's name was inspired by the towering granite peaks of Mount Lofsen, and the mountain is a source of national pride. Protected as a part of Mount Lufton National Park, the views from the circular platform at the top are truly stunning and have you looking down upon the Bay of Coder and the medieval city of Coder on its shores. Also nearby is Njegos Mausoleum, where you can pay your respects to the author of Montenegro's national epic poem, The Mountain Wreath. Its poet Peter II Petrovic Njegos is buried here. The village of Sitian is the main base for this park and where you'll find a number of hotel and restaurant options. Number 6. Lake Skidar. Lake Skidar, on the border with Albania, is the largest natural lake in southern Europe. It is a great back-to-nature destination that hosts multiple species of migratory birds and other wildlife. The Montenegrin side of the lake has been designated as a national park. 
explore the lake on a boat excursion, and also spend some time checking out the villages dotting it. On the lake's southwestern shore, you'll find Murisi Beach, which is a pristine and quiet stretch of shoreline backed by the beautiful Rumija mountain range. The beach can be accessed via a steep road to a small village at the edge of the lake. This is a great spot to just escape and breathe in the fresh air and countryside ambience. Also, don't miss the Pavlovastrana viewpoint in the national park. From here, you'll see the horseshoe bend of the Rijika Kranjevika River, which flows around a small round mountain on its way into the lake. The lush green of the surrounding trees and hills juxtaposed against the blue of the river is stunning. The viewpoint is about a 30-minute drive from Sitinj, off the M2.3 highway. You'll reach it on a very narrow one-lane road with lots of tight hairpin bends, so drive carefully. Number 7. Terra Canyon Terra Canyon is another of Montenegro's amazing natural wonders. After the Grand Canyon, it is the world's deepest canyon, and just like the Grand Canyon, it can be experienced with an epic whitewater rafting trip. Note that the water is a bit on the chilly side, however, at around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't want to get wet, you can also see the canyon from the Durdevica Terra Bridge. The concrete arch bridge was rebuilt after World War II, when it was blown up in an effective attempt to stop the Italian invasion. Today, the bridge is 172 meters above the canyon floor, and besides taking in views from it, adrenaline junkies can ride across the canyon on a zipline. Number 8. Perast on the same beautiful bay as Coder but located just to the northwest, Perast is a picturesque small town notable for its multiple churches and stone-crafted villas. In town, the Church of Street Nicola has great views of the town and bay of Coder from its belfry tower. Two of Perast's most charming churches, Our Lady of the Rocks and Street George, however, are on tiny islets in the bay. The town does not have a beach, but the stone jetties along its bayfront are popular summer spots for sunbathers. Number 9. Sveti Stefan. On the Budva Riviera, Sveti Stefan is connected to the mainland by a narrow isthmus and has been inhabited since the 15th century. Back then, it was a simple fishing village. The town came to be known in the 1950s when it was turned into a luxury resort area and guests like Marilyn Monroe and Sophia Loren would holiday here. Following a downturn at the end of the 20th century as the Yugoslav Federation collapsed, today it is again a vacation paradise with two beautiful pebble beaches on either side of the isthmus. Although the beaches are public, the original village is only open to visitors staying at the Amman Resort here. Number 10. Dermater National Park Near the mountain town of Zavljak, Dermater National Park is another popular natural attraction. The park sits in the Dineric Alps and is home to some 18 glacial lakes, the Tara River, and the world's second deepest canyon. Of the lakes in the national park, one of the best ones to visit is Black Lake. Once here, you can hire a kayak and explore the crystal clear, jade, and turquoise water from its helm. Or follow the four-kilometer track that meanders around the lake itself. It's an easy walk and you'll pass historic caves along the way. Black Lake is also a great place to bring a picnic and just relax. The park is also home to thick areas of forest and wildlife, from brown bears to wild boars and 163 different species of birds. There are opportunities to go skiing or snowboarding here in winter, and in summer you can hike, camp, and whitewater raft among other activities. Number 11. Setinj The 15th century town of Setinj once served as Montenegro's capital during the late 19th and 20th centuries. At the time, the inland valley locale at the edge of what was then the Ottoman Empire made it a coveted spot to conduct diplomacy. Today, the embassies have been turned into museums, government buildings and educational academies, and the town is a pleasure to wander endlessly about for an afternoon. The Satinj Monastery here has a collection of early Christian-era relics you can see for a donation, and the Vla Church dating back to the 15th century is another notable site. Number 12. Budva Riveria. Stretching along the central Montenegrin coastline with Budva as its anchor city, the Budva Riveria is a hot summer beach destination for locals and tourists alike. The beaches here are a mix of sand and pebbles, backed by the clear, turquoise, and aquamarine blue hues of the Adriatic Sea on one side and dramatic mountains on the other. There are a number of top-quality beaches along the Riviera, including Magern Beach, which is the closest to Old Town Budva at just a five-minute walk along a seaside pathway from town. The beaches along the Budva Riviera are also lined with restaurants with outdoor seating. 
Old Town Butva has a history that dates back 2,500 years. This medieval walled city has a lively atmosphere and is filled with restaurants and shops, as well as a town museum. Number 13, Ol Singe. Right by the Albanian border at Montenegro's southern tip, Ol Singe is an ancient seaport that was once infamous as the Adriatic Sea's pirate capital. Today, Ol Singe is a unique Montenegrin town with a largely Muslim population and some beautiful mosques and excellent restaurants and coffee shops along its peaceful seaside promenade. The area is also known for its beaches, including Velika Plaza and at 12 kilometers is Montenegro's longest beach. The water here is very shallow and great for families with small children. It is also a top spot for kite surfers who take advantage of the glassy smooth and shallow water and prevailing winds to catch a ride. If you'd like to learn more about the sport, there are a number of kite surfing schools at the southern end of Velika Plaza. Number 14, Biogradska Gora National Park. Montenegro has designated quite a bit of land to national parks, including the beautiful Biogradska Gora National Park in the center of the country. Set between the Lim and Terra rivers, it is filled with fast-running streams, sparkling, clear lakes, flower-filled meadows, and one of Europe's last primeval forests, where the trees are 500 years old. The top natural attraction in this park is Lake Biograd, which is a large glacial lake in the middle of the park. The nearby town of Kalesin makes a good base with lodging and restaurants.